my Roku remote stopped working. So let's see how we can reset it. I don't know exactly what happened, but my Roku remote stopped working. I accidentally pressed the uh, microphone button. I don't know why that would cause it to happen, but it stopped working. So let's see if we can get this to reset. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the power from the back. I could also do this by disconnecting it down here, or I could just unplug it from the wall. I'm just going to unplug it from right here. And we're going to leave that off for about 30 seconds. Okay, I have unplugged the unit. I plugged it back in. You can see that it's resetting. And it's resetting here. So let's see if we can get the remote to pair. So the first thing I did is I took the back off and I took these batteries out. And we have a pairing button right there. So we're gonna put these batteries back into the remote. And then I'm going to press that pairing light and it's already starting to flash. But if it wasn't, I would press that. And we'll see if we can get that to flash. There we go. And now it should start to pair with my Roku. And it stopped already, so let's see if it works. And look at that. It works once again. Pretty simple. It's as easy as that. To review the steps, I unplugged the Roku unit for about 30 seconds and plugged it back in. I removed the batteries from the remote and I put those back in. I pressed the pairing button and it paired itself. I hope it works for you. Thanks for watching.